Ma'am. Young man, I'll see you. I see you too. Elizabeth Ark, 13 Lincoln Street. Um, this probably applies to most of the other articles that come up as well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, Mr. Rotundi cited a couple of items. You know, not one town repealed um, uh, this article in the state of New Ma Hampshire. Uh, Elizabeth, I believe. Yeah. Uh, try to say like the previous speaker of the maker of the motion. I can't remember everybody's names, so. Oh, the maker of the motion. The maker of the motion. Um, no oh, one is citing where these stats are coming from. And I think that's a very important point because if you look to try to move these to vote throughout a week, people can run around and fear monger. Oh, 90% of the people are disenfranchised. Well, where'd you get that number? You know, Mr. Rotundi got up and talked about how not one town repealed it. Someone from the, I'm sorry, I don't remember names, um, from the school board got up, or finance board, said that the adoption failed. I have those stats right here just because I happened to look them up, but I really think it's important that if you're going to cite something, you need to actually say where it came from, because again, this goes back to case in point. You have a week then to influence voters with all kinds of numbers. You're not seeing where they come from. Um, to Mrs. Rotundi's point uh, about... The, the, the maker of the motion. We, keep the names out of it, okay? Okay. The maker of the motion. To Mrs. Rotundi, who, sp who got up and spoke. No, no, that, that, no. She's, uh, isn't she a speaker? She asked a question, isn't that right? Got it. All right, I got the difference uh, between wait, previous um, speaker making Liz, the motion. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Ms. Urich. Yes. The reason I say don't mention, I mention names, but when we do this, it, it keeps, it, you know, if there was a hot button issue. No, I was confused on the difference between the maker of the motion and then the previous speaker. I apologize. You can say one of the previous speakers. One of the previous speakers mentioned about how churches are broadcasting online, on television. You can't receive communion over the computer. Same thing with banks. You can go and you can pick up money at any hour of the day. You can't open a bank account. You can't open an IRA. There are a lot of things that you can't do when you're not there in person. Um, and I really think this article, you know, again, is not going to work for this town for those reasons. And again, I apologize for the gaffes on references. So.